Hey folks, did you know that just yesterday the Senate of the United States passed an aid package bill, a foreign aid package bill, to the tune of $75.4 billion to help countries like Ukraine, Israel, Taiwan with aid and to help them secure their borders. Did you know that just a couple of months ago, the Senate also had passed a bill for $95 billion for the same thing, for aid to these foreign countries and aid to help them secure their borders. Add those up, you've got $170 billion in aid that the U.S. taxpayers are giving to Ukraine, to Israel, to Taiwan, and others. Now, it's not out of the question that we help other countries. We're a superpower. We do that. But when we are in crisis like we are now in this country, is this what we're supposed to be doing? Or do we have the President of the United States who could just in one fell swoop of his pen close the southern border with an executive order so we could figure out and vet everything that's happening down there? And especially when Americans are paying exorbitant prices with inflation, don't believe what you're hearing. Everybody is struggling right now. It costs the money it costs to buy a gallon of milk, to put food on your table, to pay for your heating oil for your house, gas in your car. Gas is back up, if you had noticed. $3.19. $3.19. There we go. Right here in Somerset, Wisconsin. And it's higher than that in other places all around the country. So when this is happening and we're sending $170 billion in aid to foreign countries to help them through their crises, to help them secure their borders, think of this for a second, that's your taxpayer money. How many taxpayers are there in the United States? Approximately 165 million. So take that $170 billion that we're giving to other countries when we are in need ourselves, divide it by 165 million taxpayers, what do you get? Each and every one of us is paying $1,030 to help support other countries through their crises and their border problems while we suffer all of those same problems domestically here at home. There needs to be some change. Stop listening to the narrative and the crap you're being fed and start thinking with your own brain and looking at what's going on out there. $1,030? Remember that next time you go to buy a gallon of milk or fill up your gas tank. And remember what this current administration has done to this country.